Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode, I think, 113, or it might be 14. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be kind of short because I haven't been crocheting a whole lot, so I don't have a whole lot to share. But I do got a couple finished objects, a whip or two, <laughs> and some happy mail to show you, and also some bags that are in the shop. There are some bags still in the shop if you want to head over and check them out real quick, and I'll show them later uh, in person. <laughs> whatever all right my first finished object is from the book happy groomy um which i got at dollar tree a lot of people's been finding it a lot of people have it it's kind of like a gamble it's either there or it's not but i made the little turtle he looks a little funky because jesse's been playing with him i probably should have sewed his head up here but jesse loves him he's been playing with him and sleeping with him ever since i made him so he's a little derpy looking because um he's been played with a lot but I showed him in one of my Watch Your Working on Wednesday videos, and uh, now he's all done. <laughs> I used Red Heart Super Saver Frosty Green, I think. And this is like a, a tweed or a fleck or something like that that I had to scrap all of. So yeah, he's got little safety eyes. He's cute. This is theirs right here. They had little spots. I didn't do the spots because I was just making it for the heck of it. And then Jesse claimed it. <laughs> so Jesse loves this. He plays with it all the time and sleeps with it. So that's my first finished object. My second finished object, I think I showed it. I can't remember if I showed it after the um, border was put on. Uh, so I'm going to show it again. But it's the Adeline Baby Blanket. I can't remember. I should have checked before. But um, it is finished. I just have it woven in all the ends. But I can't remember if I showed it once I finished the border. So I thought I'd show it again. And I also remember somebody asked what the finished size was. And I forgot to do that. So I got my tape measure here. But this is the blanket. I can't remember if I showed it or not when it was done. I made it with a uh, Lion Brown ice cream yarn, uh, one and a half balls of the lemon swirl, and then the white is Lion Brand Baby Soft, I think. Uh, white, it's just white. But I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna measure it real fast, because someone asked uh, the size when it was done, and I forgot to tell them, because I am a forgetful person. Get my tape measure fingered out here. All right, the width of it, it's not been blocked either because I never block, block anything unless it absolutely needs it. The width is about 29 inches and the length. Ooh, it's gonna take me a minute. I'm not prepared. <laughs> but, uh, we've been really busy just doing house stuff and actually our living room has no furniture in it right now, no couches and stuff. Cause we, took, we sent our old ones over to my in-laws they wanted them, and uh, we're still waiting for ours to get delivered. Every time we call to check on it, they said that the truck is coming, but it's not here yet. <laughs> and then they said, well, the couch you picked out was super popular, so it's on back order, and I think they're just running us around. I've worked retail, so I know the whole, the truck is coming trick. <laughs> the length of it is uh, about 38 inches, so it's 38 inches long, 29 inches wide-ish. That's with my tension, and it not being blocked. But I think it's beautiful. I made it just cause, but me and Devin have been talking about maybe having another baby next year. So who knows, maybe sometime next year, this might be wrapped around a little Roberts baby. <laughs> I gotta weave in the ends. I'm so bad at, when I finish something, I'm like, yes, I finished it. So I'll set it down and then I forget to <laughs> actually finish it. So I do need to weave in the ends and uh, put it up somewhere and we'll see if it's gonna be gifted to somebody or if maybe I'll have a Roberts baby in it one of these days, who knows. But, um, I think, I feel like I showed it, but I can't remember. But either way, I did measure it. So it's 29 wide, 38 long-ish. But that's a free pattern. It's called the Adeline Baby Blanket, and I found it for free on Ravelry. And the, the people who wrote it is called Bright and Scrappy. I think it was on their website. I printed it out off and I carried it around with me. I still have it. If I print off a pattern and I really enjoy it, I put it in my binder <laughs> of printed patterns. If I didn't enjoy it, I just toss it because... Um, if I'm never going to make it again, there's no point in keeping it. But yeah, so my whips, I do have two whips. One is a pattern I'm actually designing. I'm going to show you because it's just in pieces, so you won't know what it is. But this is how far I got so far. <laughs> just these three orange circles. Um, this is going to be a fall piece, obviously, because the color. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I wanted to make a Christmas pattern and do a Christmas in July crochet along. But uh, with the Christmas in July fairy thing going on, I didn't. I thought that'd be too much going on uh, for July, so I just decided. I was decided not to really focus on that right now. So I'm gonna try to whip up some 
fall and Halloween patterns because I love Halloween just as much as I love Christmas. So I'd love to have a Halloween cow this year. So I'm going to be working on some little, I want to work on some quick patterns that are easy. People can whip up fast as either gifts or decorations. So this is the beginning of one of those. <laughs> so that's a sneak peek for you guys. And um, the other whip I showed in my last watch you're working on Wednesday. And it is the Alpine uh, Table Runner by Pattern Paradise. Pattern Paradise is a really great website. They have a ton of free patterns. I enjoy them a lot. I'm making it in the frosty green. I thought I only had a scrap bowl of it, but when I was digging around in my stash, I found uh, pretty much two whole balls of it. This one I already had a little bit pulled out of it, and then I do have another whole ball. But uh, this is going to need to be blocked because it's all squished up. So it needs to be opened up a little bit. But I did work on it a little bit more since Wednesday. I just, we've been super busy, so I haven't been um, crocheting much at all. But it's got a little bit of length to it. It's still got a long way to go because the current table we have is pretty long. I think it's like five foot long. Um, we are planning on getting a new dining room table soon. I don't know how soon, but uh, probably not before this Christmas. It'll be next year sometime. And... Uh, so hopefully it'll go with it or I'll just have to make another one. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll make it in the frosty green. It's, it's made to look like little Christmas trees or evergreens, I guess. And it's going to have a border around it. The border kind of looks similar to this border on this blanket. It's lacy like that. And uh, I'll probably make it in an off-white or maybe I'll find like a, I hate to use the word dingy, but like a dingier <laughs> red that's, you know, similar tones as this green. And uh I don't know. I'll just have to, I'm just going to work on the body of it and then I'll get to the border when I get to the border. But it's a really nice pattern. It's a, I think it's a, it's a seven, no, it's a six row repeat. You do the first seven rows, not counting the first, you know, the base row, the foundation row, and then you repeat rows two through seven as many times as you need to to make it as long as your table. And uh, then you do the border. And it also, the pattern also shows you how to or tells you how to make it wider if you have like a wide table or if you want to make like a whole tablecloth out of it or a blanket even or you, I guess you could shorten it and make a scarf <laughs> you know you can just take their pattern and tweak it any way you want to make whatever item you want to make but it's living in my cardinal bag I thought it needed a Christmas bag <laughs> but I'm looking forward to that being done because it's so pretty and it's gonna be really pretty around Christmas time with um, some like little Christmas decorations and like candles on it <laughs> But that's all the patterns I got right now. Uh, I haven't really been crocheting much at all because this last week I've been sewing a lot and then just dealing with house stuff. I've been trying to clean the apartment up really good and just freshen it up. I've been adding, like you can see, there's a picture right there that I added new. Um, just trying to theme the kitchen. It's going to be lemons now. <laughs> and uh, we're doing the same thing with the living room, so we've been moving stuff around. Got rid of furniture. The thing that our TV's on, we're thinking about taking it over to Devin's dad's and sanding it and painting it. Uh, to go with our new couch whenever it comes and um, I'm waiting for it to come so that I can match curtains and stuff to the couch But they will take forever to get here. <laughs> we, we got we ordered it like three weeks ago and We're still waiting for it, but whatever I guess <laughs> Anyways, I got some happy mom gonna show you and then um, the bags So let me get my happy mom. I got a little stack here of happy mom. This first one is from Randy. It's a letter um, But I just wanted you know, she already knows that I got this because I talked to her through email, so. And it's not Randy from Randy's Random ran, Ramblings. I always get that wrong. It's a different Randy. I always have to say that because some people assume that it's the YouTube Randy, and it's not. And then I got this one. This is a condolence card, I guess is what it's called. Sympathy card. This is a really cool card. <laughs> this is from Nancy, and she lives in Iowa. But uh, it's handmade. It says on the back that it's handmade. So let's get this pretty. And then when you open it, it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like layers. See how it's like layers? Really pretty. She wrote a little note in the back, but also on the back, it's got um, this little thing. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says handmade with love. So that's, that's like a nice card. <laughs> can't believe someone, like she made this. That's crazy. It's a beautiful card. I love it. I just keep opening it and looking at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. And, um, and this other one is from Leanne. This is also a, uh, what are they called? Is it condolence card? Sympathy card? I don't know. But it's one of those. It's really pretty. Very pretty. She wrote a note in there. And then I actually, this is, this was so funny when I got this today. Because today I went and dropped off all of my orders from the weekend. And also dropped off the Happy Groomy book for the winner, Donna. 
so Donna's your order is on your way on the way to your house and also your happy groomy book is on the way to your house but what was so funny is I got two packages one of my packages was my knit crate and the other one was another happy groomy book <laughs> this one is from Melanie um, I can't remember where she lives it's in the back on the back Ohio <laughs> she lives in Ohio but um she said that she found three, one, one copy for her, one copy for a friend of hers, and then one copy for me to give away. So this will be in a giveaway coming up soon. It's not in this video though, but I'm just going to put it up and I will give it away probably in a couple weeks because I'm going to have another giveaway in this video, but not for this book. But she also sent a little note. But um, I just thought that was so funny because I just mailed this book off and then I got one in the mail the same exact day. I thought that was so funny. The last uh, happy mail that I got was my Nick Cray and this month, it came in just a regular bag. It was folded over. But um, they sent out an email and they're still having a hard time getting all their supplies because, you know, different places are shut down for COVID. So um, they're just working with what they got. So I don't care what kind of bag it comes in. As long as it comes, I'm happy. <laughs> but this is for the June one. And it's super late because today is the second to the last day of June. Today's 29th. And usually they come around, for me, they usually come around the 10th of the month. So late but it's better late than ever <laughs> this um june's was getaway i like the colors on this card but the yarn that i got is kind of plain looking i think Ta -da! it's like a, a nude like a what's it called natural color like you know undyed color and then it's like purpley it's like a purple hue almost on there it's all dean holes interweave so that means that the if you could get really close look which you can't because my camera's not fancy it's the little chainettes that's like uh woven together but it's, it's got a lot of fibers <laughs> it is 34 percent cotton 35 percent linen 19 percent lyocell and 11 percent nylon <laughs> they are 351 yards each so that's what 702 yards of um fiber <laughs> machine wash the colorway is called beaches my husband likes it. Devin thinks it's pretty. I just think it's boring looking because I'm a bright color person. <laughs> I like, you know, bright colors. But it's actually really nice. It feels good. You could tell it's definitely cottony. And it feels like it would be a nice, cool article of something. But because it's not my cup of tea, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it away in this video. So if you made it this far <laughs> to enter into this giveaway. It also came with some sewing pins, by the way. Which I guess I'll, I'll put with it. Because I don't need any. I have a good Julian of those. But because the colorway beaches, to enter into the giveaway, you need to be um, a citizen of the U.S. or Canada, live in either of those countries, because sh shipping outside of either of those places are crazy high. So it's open only to U.S. and Canada, and I hate to do that, but you know, money. <laughs> uh, you need to be a subscriber, and you need to also be 18 years or older. And I would appreciate it if you liked and shared the video, because then other people can see it. <laughs> and leave a comment below and because it's called beaches let me know what your favorite beach to visit is and if you've never been to a beach um let me know where you would like to visit uh, a beach anywhere in the world <laughs> our favorite beach the only beach i've ever been to was down in alabama is gulf shores which is like you know stereotypic tourist destination but Devin and i went there a few years ago we went twice and it was a lot of fun we, we enjoyed it a lot and we want to go back <laughs> when everything's normal again and take jesse jesse wants to go so, uh, we all, I'd like to go to Florida too, but, uh, I don't know, but if you want to try to win this yarn, definitely just, you know, answer that question in the comments and I will pick, it'll run from today, which is June the 29th through July 10th. And then I will draw a winner and announce that on July 11th, which is a Saturday. So you got a couple weeks to, uh, to do it <laughs> and, uh, just be sure that you are a subscriber. I do check YouTube actually tells us now if you're a subscriber or not. And, uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'll pick another winner. And uh, you do have to be a member of, or, you know, you have to live in U.S. or Canada <laughs> because shipping is crazy expensive everywhere else. Yeah, so this is like 700 yards of this cottony. It's mostly cotton. It's mostly cotton and linen. So it's real airy and breathable and it's cool to the touch, you know. So this would be a good uh, article of clothing for the summertime. But, uh, and you could probably dye it because it's a lot, it's mostly natural fiber. So you could probably dye it. I don't know how good it would stick, but you could try. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so there's that giveaway. And you can have these two if you want them. If you, don't, if you win and you don't want them, just tell me and I'll just put them somewhere. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I don't know what the other colorways were. 
I feel like there was a blue one and maybe a purple one, but I always get the boring ones because uh, <clears throat> ambassadors, affiliates couldn't pick up until now, but they've redone their ambassador program. I got a bunch of emails about it <laughs> and um, our links have changed, which my new link is now in the description of my video from here on out. I might try to go back and change them in the oh, past videos, but that would take forever. I have hundreds of videos. But um, now the ambassadors can choose their colorways. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that because now I can actually be, I can pick either ones I really want or if I want to give, like if I know a purple, everybody loves purple, I can pick a purple one <laughs> when there's a purple one to pick and uh, give it away. But yeah, I'm excited that I'm going to be able to pick because I wouldn't have picked this color if it was for me. I would have picked a different color. But yeah, so that's all my all and that's all the stuff I got to show you other than I'm going to show you the bags real fast that are in the shop. And they're in there currently as I'm filming. So if you want to head over and check them out, go for it. I'll show you the notion pouch first. There's uh, the roost, one of the rooster ones left. This floral one. And then there's this tea set one. There's a rainbow one. Looks like there's three unicorns uh, with rainbows. One with cactuses and succulents. Two of these bugs. I think these bugs look so cool. They're some kind of beetle. But the colors on that is just really pretty. There are two hot pink llamas. Two Mickeys. Mickey and Minis. And one, two, three, six of these galaxy ones. I bought the end of the bolt of this fabric. And it was two, a little over two yards. So, um... That's why there's so many of those. <laughs> and then as for project bags that are still in the shop, I got this star one. It's really bright. <laughs> and then there are two of with the beetles. I think this is such a pretty fabric. And there is one left with the, the unicorns. Two Mickey and Minis. And then I think six, there's a string on there, of the galaxy. Prints. Really pretty. <laughs> Those are all that's in the shop. These are all drawstring bags and they are all sack bottoms. All their labels are on the inside because I accidentally ordered the wrong one, so they're just on the inside of the bag. Which I think I actually prefer. So I'm probably gonna just continue doing that. And I wanna start putting the labels in the notion pouches too after this update. And I was gonna do the videos to some bags. Um, cause it's cheaper, you know, it doesn't take fees out like, uh, PayPal doesn't take fees out like Etsy does, but I just didn't have the time to sit down and do a video this week and I needed to get these bags up. So that's why I went ahead and did Etsy, but my next shop update is going to be different because I'm going to do the video so that I can sell through PayPal and pocket more of my profit instead of giving it to Etsy. And I'm also thinking about doing a different type of bag cause I've been doing these drawstring bags forever and I do love them and I know a lot of you guys love them too, but I'm just kind of getting bored of them. And I want to try some other types of patterns. I normally don't have the time to sit down and sew. But I'm going to try to start making time to work on different bags. Uh, I, I know there's a tote bag pattern that I've been looking at that I want to try. And I'd like to make some zipper project bags. But um, the only problem if I make zipper project bags and tote bags is they're going to cost more than drawstring bags. Because there's more materials in them. There's more fabric, more interfacing the zipper bags have bigger zippers that cost more than the little zippers. And, um, I don't know, I'll just have to, I want to mess around with the patterns and then maybe I can make like a few drawstring bags, a few zipper bags, and a few tote bags every update instead of just a bunch of drawstring bags. These are super fast for me to make. That's, that's one reason I like making drawstring bags is because I can make them quickly and, uh, don't have to think about it. I know, you know, I have the pattern completely in my head, but I want to just start, try, start trying to make different bags and, uh, Go from there. I don't know. But I guess that's everything. So head over to the shop if you're interested in any of these bags. They're in the shop. And yeah, I guess that's everything. <laughs> I think I said that twice. But I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up. And then I'm going to try to find some more stuff to work on. Because I feel like I haven't crocheted at all in forever. <laughs> and I want to crochet. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.